Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to Pepe video update today. So Pepe uh, still down and we are approaching some uh, very, very very important support here. So you got this support before and you came down you may actually have to see that another support right there. So on the RSI we can actually see that this is your move down and you have uh, some lower lows right there and we have some higher highs and this is on the one hour time. So a very small bullish divergence that has appeared but it's not a very strong one okay it's not very uh convincing to me because again it's on the smaller time frame and uh once again it's not in a, in a place where we, we can stop buying once again so here's the deal okay you may actually see that you do have this few support touches here on this box so can we expect another touch right here before we start to move up again and i do believe that a lot of people may have a stop loss right there so whenever you look at wicks uh, wicks do get invited all the time uh, coins any coin in in, uh, in particular they love to go and visit wicks so because wicks is where people set their stop losses and if you look at books if you read so many books on trading if you look at uh, people on instagram telling you about how to trade and this and that a lot of them Almost 70% of people do say that, you know, this is where your stop loss should be. But I do disagree because I've done a, uh, a research uh, and I personally do say this again and again in my course that Wix is not a good area to put your stop loss. Maybe somewhere here is where your stop loss may be good. But this, I mean, why don't you look from a distance? If you look from a distance, then this actually does look pretty easy. Everyone knows that this is the point where you may have Wix. They know it. The wills know it. Uh, the, the institutional traders also know this, that this is where a lot of people are going to look to short uh, position. They're going to stop loss here and they know that. So there may be, maybe in the future, there could be an advantage and this may be taken off. I've explained this in the previous videos as well. And we have seen this time and time again that, yes, they do get taken out, perhaps just by placing it right there. So I do want to say that we might see this thing coming down here again. And this may be good to buy once again who knows but on on another you know on another scale on a, uh, on a vice versa scale as well what i can say is the following that there is because this is your support resistance going on here so this is your support right now isn't it true that people may have their stop loss just below here in that line so could we see a short and a long squeeze where you take down the longs and you take out the shorts as well because by the time you come down here you are going to be oversold right there or even just a wick down there and you know the hours is going to be oversold and it could be a good opportunity for you to buy once again and we may see a pump because at this point a lot of people are going to turn bearish isn't that just the psychological part of it right so when they turn bearish you see this thing actually pump up and then they take the stop loss as well so short squeeze long squeeze and that's it for this update let's uh hope before i close off the video actually if you end up coming down like this and pump up back up again retest this area get rejected here then you have a very big drop coming in for pepe and that's it i'm going to see you in the next one hello office